Cronulla winning on both occasions, 26-0 at home and 28-16 away. And there's a great take by Peachy. And what a return of the football. David Peachy, ET over on the far side. Cutting back in field. This is Barnett. Cutting back in field, linking up with Trista. Trista to Dykes from a standing start to Greenhill. They're throwing it around at will at the moment. ET recovering after that earlier run, setting sail for the corner, but he's pulled down about 15 out from the Mariners line. Now it's Healy. Shows it on the inside. Throws a dummy. Where's the support? Trista couldn't control it. Knock back. Play on. Not held. Trista has another go at them. Six points to nil. It's Hunter leading Cronulla, but the Sharks well and truly on attack now. There's a kick in behind the line. Richardson takes it, puts it down. That's a fair try. Russell Richardson on the end of a bitch. Healy bomb. They caught the Hannah Mariners snapping wide, and they're on the scoreboard. And fast defence right in the face, but you've got to pat the man on the back that delivered it all. David Peachy, right at the other end of the football field. He's one of the most exciting returners of the, of the ball in football. And have a look at this guy. I mean, we've just been giving him a rap seconds before about the way he chased a kick downfield. He got his team back into the position. This kick, I thought it may have been just a little bit too high on occasions. A couple of the... Uh, well, I, I've got to agree with myself. The, sounds funny, but I thought there was one player possibly could have got across there a little bit, uh, a little bit quicker to try and get rid of that football. Gee, I'm not, I'm not, wasn't really happy with the way Tyron Smith, I don't think he's going to be too upset by me not enjoying it, but I thought he possibly could have got there across there a little bit quicker to try and make sure that's been altered by the injuries to uh, Nick and Green. They're both very good players with offloads and they run and create a lot of doubt as we see an intercept open the gap. Yes, Mitch Healy saw it coming. Carlo giving chase. I think he's going to run him down. Healy will play it. They need to go wide. Eddingshausen. It's three on one. Peachy steps back in field. The cover got across there. E.T. He backs himself. Goes for the corner. Did he get it down? He's that was the slowest 5-8 of all time. But the opportunity came along. This is what the referee Harrigan was talking about. There are that many players offside at this stage for the Mariners. He could have given, had the opportunity to award a, a, a penalty if one of the players that were offside ran down a player that was definitely going to score or I think we heard him say that he was at least going to give them a, a penalty points about this game too Greg is, is that uh, had I'm, I'm sure if we had have seen a play under normal Super League rules has he? McKenna McKenna pops one over the top to Rogers Rogers puts it on the toe Rogers trying to get the ball down I think he's done it he has brilliant individual skills for Matt Rogers McKenna with the pass over the top. Fingertip control from Rogers. Put it on the toe. There's no knock on in there. He was held back, Rogers, and he got the ball down. And Harrigan has already indicated to the video referee that if it's not a try, it'll be a penalty try. And fair enough looking at that. Well, the contentious point in this is, of course, as the kick went through from Rogers, I mean, the, the gap just opened up. It was a huge gap. Probably the wrong decision was made to go wide, but Rogers put the ball on his left foot. He was simply held back by Robbie Ross. Was the right foot on the sideline? No, it wasn't. The right hand went on it. Referee Bill Harrigan mentioned that if it hadn't have been scored fairly on this occasion, he was to award a penalty try. That would have... The hit up stakes. Cronulla hot on attack, 20 metres out from the North Sydney line. Graham again with a short pass for Richardson. Can't get on the outside of Buchner. Graham. Short ball for Lee. Who gets it back for Trista to score. Somehow, Danny Lee. Got it. Got a Buchner. Let's see if he gets the football now. There's Trista from the offload. There it is, over the top. Oh, why is he called for it? Yeah, I could just feel it on the sideline. Crow have come out in this, in this second half with a bit more enthusiasm. Nice off flow by Danny Lee there. Chanced his arm. Trista on the spot as a dummy half should be. Over the line. Goes it to go himself. Luke Stewart, who's made such an impact since he's come on from the bench. Trista works it back for Stanley. Eddinghausen is there to accept the pass. 
Healy. Graham, who's been one of Cronulla's best this evening, is tackled on the 10-metre line, North Sydney Territory. Best for Healy. Back inside for Martin Lang, who's tripped up five metres away from the North Sydney line. Nathan Long. But the Bears' defence so far up to it. Healy will go to the air. Peachy is out here. So is Howland. Peachy's there, goes straight through them. And Howland is there right. to score. To the left-hand side they come. Stanley stepping and eventually put down 10 metres out on the last. Healy will go to the air. Best is out there. Forward it comes. Did he score? Yes, he has. I think he has. Colin Best on first grade taboo. Well, they've controlled the football a lot better than North Sydney in the second half. That is a great try there, the young Colin Best. And you remember that one for a long time. It was a tremendous chase there. Well, he won. The way that they've controlled the football, the fans going off at the moment. And I don't know if they're number one, but they're up there. Great try. Healy puts the ball in the air. How many tries do we see Cronulla score like this? And a great effort there from Best. That's what... tremendous. This is the shot that'll show us. I don't know how much cricket Colin Best has played blocker, but this is a great slips catch. Look at this. The ball goes forward. Outstanding. The kick had everything. Healy goes over on his back. 14. Four, is it? Nine, Ketherbridge four, is up there. And Colin Best in good position to get it on the second grab. Well, North Sydney don't deserve to win this game, actually. So now they've got something cooking up on the left-hand side. The kick over the top from Roy. Petherbridge is there, but so too is Peachy. And he's got no one in front of him. Apart um. The kick through from Eichen. Can he get there, Benny Eichen? Peachy is first to the football. Brilliant. I'll tell you what, that was the best passage of football that we've seen all night. Great kick through there from Ben Eichen and the chase. And what about the clean? Treaster for Dykes. Dykes for Peachy. Peachy. David will score. They won't deny this one. They can't take this off him. Now Eddinghausen. This is Stevens. Stevens tramples over them. Eddinghausen. He's put Rogers over. Rogers is in. Oh, they are having a party down. In his eye-saving tackles belong to a man with extraterrestrial ability. With each big game, the push for ET to make the Australian team gained momentum. Away goes Eddinghausen. He'll beat Belcher. The crowd's out the United. He'll get to the corner. He'll get to the try line. Oh, Dragon is wrapped up. Treaster again. Kamali bypasses Stevens. A lovely pass to Peachy. He was chopped down in a siding tackle by Robbie Kearns. Kamali. A flat ball again. They take it to the line, Stevens is in. A simple play in the end, but Kamali a lovely ball and Stevens found the gap. A simple play, Warren Bill. Young Billy Slater does his best at the back to try and hold him up, but a big man on a little man will always win. The combination there of Peter Robinson and also Scott Hill. Gallon takes it up. And again, they stop him just outside the 30. Good chance here for the Sharks to add to that 6-0 scoreline. Bailey standing wide on the right-hand side. Bird outside him. They just took it forward for a set. Like Peachy. Keen getting it to Kamali. Lovely pass for Bird. It was into half a gap. And he takes it down to within about five metres of the storm line. Some worries on the fringes for Melbourne early. Here's Kamali again. Rubbering away from the chases. Peachy is there. He picked it up. First four pointer of the season, and it's 10 nothing to the Sharks. Hopefully, Kamali just steered it through, straight through the legs. And then the last bounce just straight up in the air. Pucci, as he does on so many occasions, just turns up in the right spot. He's the number one chaser for Kamali's grubbers and just puts it down under the sticks. And what a start for the Sharks today. Conversion attempt to come from right here. Here it is. He'll play it. Kamali now. Going to take them on. Met. 
there by Stephen Kearney, the captain, and also Robbie Kearns was there. Peachy, good ball into a gap. Bailey's on the end of it. There's try number three for the Sharks. It's a March Carver. Out of the game here, the Melbourne Storm in the first half. And the Sharks, their players are just running into holes. The ball players are drifting across the park. The Storm, they aren't putting any pressure on. They're just letting the ball player drift. They're sliding. And the cut back to the hole is working this afternoon for the Sharks outfit. That Stevens plays it. It's a three step. Crosses back to Graham. Kamali comes to the right hand side. Lobs a pass to Greg Bird. Here's a chance for the young 5'8. He gets across the line and plants it down. Shane Hayne thinks it's okay. That's their fourth try. Oh, they are scoring at will. Inside Melbourne's 20, they can't be stopped. Kamali has come up with two and fires one over the top for Bird here, and they're in again. And a tale of two teams. One team gets into the 30, turns the ball over, and the other team, when they get their opportunities, they make the most of it. They put a four pointer on the board every time, and again, it's a long, flat pass on the back of a cross play. Kamali, a face pass to Greg Bird. They had the numbers and straight in between Gaia and Orford, and then too strong just right. To Kamali, short ball for Bailey. Here's the halfback again, Peachy. It's been a lot of time at first receiver this afternoon. Again, changing tack, going back to the right hand side. A lovely pass for Jason Kent in his first game of the Sharks. Against the slide, and David Peachy, you've got to come up both sides. You can see the storm line just hanging back. And they were dishonest, and they got found out. Tajalala misses the tackle, Kent scores in his debut for the Sharks. And that'd be a relief for the Sharks outfit. Just his eighth first grade game in total. After spending the start of the tackle there, but Smith was waiting for him. Peachy again, steps off the right, goes off the left and almost got there. Looking for a fast play the ball. Bailey gets there, there's the try. It's Hilda who scores it for the Sharks. Another debutant who gets there. Pointer. They got the snip, they wanted to put the storm away, and this man has become more involved, David Peachy. A one on one tackle. Robbie Kearns holding on as quickly as possible with a quick play of the ball. They had the numbers on the right. Kidwell comes up. Looking